Hello everyone. You're welcome to FUCO Mathematics. And here we provide solution to math problems into detail. Here we have square root of x plus x over 2 equal to 2, right? And now this is what I want us to do. Take x, my, x over 2 to the right. So we are going to have square root of x to be equal to 2 minus x over 2. Okay, so what if we find the square root, I mean the LCM of the right hand side? Remember this is over 1. So that means square root of x. Okay, square root of x here will be equal to the LCM is 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 2. We have 4 minus 2 divided by 2 is um, 1 then times um, x we are going to have 2x right so here okay 2 divided by 2 is 1 times x we have x okay so this is what we have now the next target is to remove this square root from here and we do that by squaring it and what we do on one side we must do on the other side Okay, so this is over 2 and we are going to square it as well. So that um, the square root and the square can cancel each other. X will now be 4 minus X over 2 in two places. 4 minus X over 2. Now let us open the brackets. X is already alone and it will be equal to... 4 times 4, that will be 16. 4 times minus x, that will be minus 4x. Minus x times 4, that will be minus 4x. Minus x times minus x, that will be plus x um, squared. And the whole of this will be over 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, so from here now, we would cross multiply so that we have 4x. And that will be equal to 16 minus 4x minus 4x is minus um, 8x. Then I have plus x um, squared. From here, let's arrange it very well. I want to pick x squared first. This is minus 8x. And then here we have 4x. Since it's coming to meet with the others, it, it will become negative 4x. Then this plus 16 will appear and everything is equal to 0 now okay and now let's continue so that we have x squared minus here we will have 12x then plus 16 and the whole of this is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation and this equation will have um Okay, we can only solve this by using the formula to do it, okay? So, our A will be 1, although you can use other method, but you can use factorization. Our A will be 1, our B is equal to negative 12, and the C is 16. Now, what is the quadratic general formula? Okay, so this is the quadratic general formula. Now, let's put A, B, C, A, B, C into this um, problem now. X remains unknown. Okay, minus B is now negative, negative 12. Right? Then plus or minus B squared is minus 12 squared. Then minus 4 times a is 1 then times c which is 16 so the whole of this is over 2 times 1 right okay so if we continue with this then x will be equal to negative negative 12 will give us positive 12 plus or minus then square of minus 12 will give 144 the negative will cancel itself. Then minus 4 times 1 times 16 is actually 64, right? So we have 64. 
and this is over 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Let's continue. x will be equal to 12, positive or negative. Then 144 minus 64 will give us 80. And this is over, over 2, right? This is over 2. Now, let us continue with this. Okay, so that we'll have x equal to 12, positive or negative, 16 times 5. 80 is 16 times 5. And I brought 16 out because it is a perfect square, which is over 2. Now, x will be equal to 12 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is 4. Then we have root 5. The whole of this is over 2. Okay, now because we have 2 as a denominator, I want us to factor 2 out. So x will now be equal to 12 positive. Okay, I'm factoring 2 out, right? So we are factorizing to bring out 2. That means that um, we'll have 2 outside. Then inside of the bracket, I'm going to have 6. Okay, then plus or minus 2 has already gone out. So we have another 2 over here. Then we have square root of 5. Okay, the whole of this will now be divided by 2. If you want to be sure, you can open the bracket again. 2 times 6 is 12. Then 2 times 2. That will give us the 4 over there. Now this can cancel this. And this means that our x is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 square root of 5. Okay, so this becomes the solution. And this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's point it out. Okay, so the first solution now will be x to be equal to 6 plus 2 root 5. Okay, so this is the first solution. But the question is, does this satisfy the given equation? The answer to this problem, um, to the question is no. This does not satisfy the given equation. So we don't consider it a solution. Okay, now the second solution will be x equal to 6 minus 2 root 5. Now the question is, does this satisfy the given equation? And the answer is yes, it satisfies. So this means that we accept this as the only solution to the equation. Thank you for watching.